Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, Izzy and I are gonna take our walk along the Walnut Trail that I made earlier this year. The reason I wanted to come this way is I wanted to see what this looked like down here because I'm debating whether I should start a fire here today. I have a lot of cutoff scrap from doing the last of the slats and cardboard and stuff and I wanted to see if this was worthwhile to come down and do or if I needed to do too much chainsawing. First let's take our walk. Killing two birds with one stone I wanted to see what kind of prints are in the snow down here. We have, oh, I don't know, maybe 50% of the 10 day forecast is above 40 degrees. So this snow is definitely going away. It's a human print, but I think this is from, oh, wait a minute, since it snowed last, yeah, I don't know whose prints those are. Oh, that that's probably Natalie's prints. She came down here, she made a video, so I'll have to uh, produce that. She made a video yesterday looking for Izzy's ball. So yeah, she must have went over here. I told her to look in the ravine. Izzy's blue ball has disappeared. And whenever we tell her to go look for it, she comes down the hill here and looks, but she lost it somewhere. Yeah, you can see Natalie's, this has to be Natalie's prints. They look kind of big, but she's a tall girl, so must be her. My nephew's camera right there. And his stand right there. But the Walnut Trail goes up this way. Good girl. Let's go this way. Up that way. Hopefully she doesn't destroy any prints. A rabbit, old rabbit prints. I doubt that I'm going to find too much, but you never know. Before I forget, today's work is going to be putting house wrap on the addition. I've been working towards this all this time, and I almost forgot to mention it. So we'll get up there pretty soon and get that done as soon as I finish up this walk, which is not going to take long. We're just going up into the field and then checking on the trees up by the road up there. And it looks like Tater is gonna be accompanying us. Come on, Tater. Hey, hey, Izzy. No, I'm not gonna throw that stick. Izzy, your friend Tater's here. Did you see? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Let's go. Come on, Tater. Nope, maybe later. Look what the pileated woodpeckers did to that tree. They are quite the beast. Okay, let's get this wrapped up so I can get to work. All right, so the first part of the walk was uneventful. Now Tater and Izzy and I are gonna walk up to the end of the road and back and then I'm gonna get to work. Tater and I were on the back side of the neighbor's place there, 
checking the doors and checking the windows, see if everything's okay. And snow slid off the roof. It's, it's really loud when it happens. Izzy was around the back here, and now she's completely gone. I'm going to guess she ran all the way home. She's kind of a coward. But I've been calling her for the last five minutes and nothing. Here comes Tater. So let's go see if Izzy ran all the way home. And there she is. She had run all the way home because she heard a crashing sound. And she could hear me calling her. It's, you can hear real easy through the woods here. And she would not come back. Are you kind of a coward? Izzy, come. Kind of a coward? A little bit? Okay, you can go in. Okay, I got the fire going without dicing all this stuff up. The chainsaw, for some reason, is smoking real bad. Like it's got a bad fuel mix. And it's chugging and acting up. So I'm going to have to check that out, uh, drain the fuel and put uh, new fuel in it and see what happens. Kind of a bummer, but I do have to get a lot of stuff done up here, so let's go do that. Okay, I got a couple pieces in and I haven't recorded it, so I better kind of catch you up. The first piece wraps around the corner. wraps around and actually goes to here. I'm a hair shy. I would have liked it an inch wider, but when I rolled this out and split it dead in half, that's this width here. So on the other side, I'll just I'll move it over a little bit on this side so it falls better onto this slat here. But otherwise, it, it's gonna be fine. When I put this next layer on, I'll overlap it and all will be well. And then I have this on down here. I'm not sure, I might put cleats over the bottom and the top where it's open. I can't block that though. Any water that gets behind here needs to be able to drain. Um, that's how they, they work to start with. So what I am doing, I was going to do it one way, but now I'm doing it the other way. I had written down like a long piece for the top here, but that's really hard to work with and it's wasteful. I would have to roll this thing out, cut, roll it more, then cut, kind of like I did with the EPDM rubber on the roof. It's a lot easier. What is that top part? I didn't do any of that yet, but da, 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 37 inches wide. So if I cut, these are nine feet long. If I cut a 37 inch wide strip, nine feet long, and then just put that in, overlap it, cut another one at that same width, whatever's left over at the corner, I can save for the back or it might just go right around the corner and be used right there. And just having it at nine feet is plenty long enough to work with. It's almost a limit, so it works out just, just fine. So I put this nine foot strip in. I have another one cut there. I believe I will go around the corner because I have a win the windows are, or that back window is just the same. Have the, I don't have the bottom slats in. Oh well, I can go around the corner and then just uh, staple it temporarily or tape it until I'm ready for it. I'm not going to do that side until tomorrow. So, like I said, I rolled this thing way out, 123, three quarter inches for that corner, split it in half. That's the half for the back there. This is the next piece for the bottom. And I'm gonna go put that in right now. 
they royally messed up on the weather forecast. The next three days was were supposed to be mostly sunny and, you know, pretty damn nice. As of a couple hours ago, all of a sudden they changed all three days to uh, solid clouds and they dropped the temperature that it was supposed to get to today from 40 to 35. So it is damp and really cold out there. But tomorrow it's going to be damp, cold, and windy. So it is what it is. Just got to get it done. So when I get to come in here and cut a piece, I can warm up a little bit and then go out there and freeze a bit. So I got that piece cut. I'm going to start putting it in. I don't know if I'll be filming a whole hell of a lot of it because I got to really rush. The day kind of got away on me. Mondays are always kind of cramped because I have to do my day job until roughly noon. So this time of year, it's going to get dark in, oh, it's going to get dark in about an hour. So I better get moving or I won't even get this side done. Okay, I'm done for the day. The sun is down and I am frozen solid. Man, what an unproductive day. I really wish I would have got this whole side done. And I really wish I had some sun to do it in. But that's it for today. Tonight, I'm going to cut the top two pieces and I don't know, I might cut the stuff for this corner right here. Maybe, maybe not. I got plenty of other stuff I got to do as well. So that'll wrap it up for today. Tomorrow I'll film putting some of this stuff on. There's just no time today. So if you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.